Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Don. This is Cowboy Biker Adventures. Where the road goes on forever and the adventures never end. In this video I have a kind of a review for a RV park. The first RV park I've actually been in and that is Big Cedar RV in cabins in eastern Oklahoma. Also, I'm going to do a impromptu walkthrough of my RV and keep in mind I did not pick it up before I did that walkthrough. My RV is a 2013 Newmar Base Star Model 3002. Also, I have something interesting for you. I have two dirt bikes that I go out and ride and keep in mind this is the first time I've been on dirt bikes in 38 years. All I ask is please don't make fun of me I am an old man but it may make you laugh. Now it's time to get started. Hope you enjoy. Good morning. Thought I would do a walkthrough of my RV. And I guess I'll come back here and start in my bedroom. Yes, I make my bed every day. Still trying to figure out where to put stuff. But here's my pile of dirty clothes. And here's the shower. And my bathroom. Let me hang up that towel. And of course, there's your old. RV toilet and my convection microwave oven my fridge you can see the current temperature 3 degrees in the freezer 35 in the refrigerator itself have storage here and over here and of course here and underneath and all those storage here and there is the sofa I'm thinking about replacing that with two theater type seating love seat I guess you call it And of course, all the other storage overhead. And there's my breakfast and my vitamins, my Berkey for filtered water, my ice maker, my coffee. And let's see here. There, turn on some light. The cockpit. My motocross boots. My footstool. Trash can, jackery. And that's about it.
I thought I would do a walk around of my RV at this RV park. This is called Big Cedar RV and Cabin. I can't really do a review of it because I have not tried out the restrooms the showers as you can see there's really no other amenities other than laundry they do have full 50 amp hookup they do have some satellite four channels they say I didn't bother hooking it up and since about this time yesterday I'm basically the only one here I've not seen anybody in that fifth wheel other than there are some people in the, uh, one or two cabins there's the laundry and office I have not seen anybody in these rigs or this one let's take a look back over here at the restrooms and showers and then there's some more cabins over here and of course that's where somebody lives on site you can see the surrounded by the hills been windy here almost the whole time I've been here we're facing the east right now and this is my bedroom window I can see the sunrise come up over the hills so that's it I will be packing up here the next hour, hopefully on the road in less than two hours. It's not a large park. I think they said they had 25 sites. Not all of them are 50 amp. My first day of riding was done on my Kawasaki 650KLR. I did the riding in the area that was called Big Cedar. This is my first ride on this 650KLR other than streets and highways. And to be honest with you, that's been limited also. I probably have ridden this bike less than 100 miles. Please note, for some reason, I did not take my GoPro on this ride, so all the pictures will be still pictures. The first picture is where I parked the 650 on this fire road, and was just looking around, taking in the view. The next picture is just looking down this fire road from the seat of the motorcycle. The next picture is the first trailhead that I came to towards the end of this fire road. Keep in mind there was probably four or five or six different dispersed camping sites that I came across on either side of the fire road. Just beyond this trailhead was a camper in a tent that had a dog and I was trying not to disturb him so I didn't stay in this area long. The next picture was me riding down that trailhead. 
keep in mind when it was time to turn this bike around, it weighs 425 pounds and it's very high. Even though I'm six feet, I have to be on tiptoe. So if there's any depression in the terrain, you can't put your feet down. That is one big change over dirt bikes from 38 years ago. And it does take some getting used to. The next picture is another trailhead that I came across. The next few pictures are where I was riding along and I came across this beautiful stream. I think this stream is more suited for crossing when you're hiking instead of on a motorcycle. So I just stopped and turned around and took pictures. But it was beautiful. After this, I just rode back to the RV and called it a day on the motorcycle. Hi, and welcome to the next day of riding. Today, I was looking for single track trails to ride my Yamaha YZ250X on. This is my first ride on this motorcycle, other than a couple times up and down the street when I bought it. Here I'm riding up a fire road, climbing this mountain. Again, this is in the Big Cedar area. I did see a few dispersed camping sites along the way on either side of the fire road. This is the first time I've actually mounted the GoPro to my helmet. And as you can see, the angle is wrong, so I'm sorry about the view, and that's why I want to show you a whole bunch of it. fire road I came across closest thing I could find to single track it really was a utility road so I rode for a few miles and I came across this building and this man and I did apologize for being on this property that's when I turned around and I came back out like the Kawasaki this Yamaha is extremely tall Again, I'm six foot, and again, the only way I touch the ground is on tiptoes. So, if there's any depression in the terrain, when you go to put your foot down, there's nothing there. It does take a little to get used to, and it's just simply easier to start the bike on the kickstand. Yes, hard to believe that dirt bikes nowadays have kickstands, because back in my day, they didn't. So, yeah, it's pretty neat right. in there. Have fun, man. Oh, uh, you too. I'm sorry. Guess better take it out of gear. <laughs> it, it's just easier to put it on the kickstand to start this puppy because I hate. I, look at it, I'm six foot. Look on my tap toes. I, I hate that.
This is me loading up my motorcycle starting with the YZ250X getting my trailer all loaded up the night before I leave because this is about an hour to hour and a half process. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you will like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and share on Facebook as much as you possibly can. Thank you.